President of the function, Mr. Jos Philip, Chairman, ISTD Kochi Chapter, Ms. Diana Dentinger, Founder, Meaning of Life School, Italy, Mr. Satish, Director, JSS Trivandrum, Ms. Nirmala Lilly, Secretary, ISTD, all dignitaries on the dais of the dais, invited guests, speakers, dear student friends, distinguished participants, and all well-wishers. I'm really happy to be here when we are just inaugurating the National Trainers Summit. Of course, there is always a question which uh, disturbs my mind is whether the education which is imparted through universities in the state or in the country are full in its meaning or is it the holistic education which we are imparting? Of course the answer we know that no is the answer. Then how? What should be the aim when we design a curriculum or when we design how the education should be, what should be in our mind? That's a conscious question. Of course, education, how it is viewed generally in India, I would say that through education, we think that we might get a job and find a means of living. So in that way, when the education is viewed, it means only just confine ourselves to the traditional mode of learning. Some courses will be the, there will be a syllabus for the course and we ourselves confined to the classroom teaching and then search for some job which might suit, which might not suit what we had learned in the classroom. Does it transform a person? Does it transform the personality of a student? I don't know. We yet doubt whether the students are truly transformed through the education which we impart. Sometimes some children might feel that after the education, the sky is more beautiful to gaze upon. Okay, that is a good feeling. Yet, what I feel is that after the education, if it is true in its fullest sense, then a student should know her or his potential. A student should know what is her core competency. A student should be confident in her capacities, in her potential. And the education should leave footprints in the hearts of the students when they leave the university and instill a feeling that they are not the same old children who had entered the university. If education can do some miracle in that fashion, then we can say that we have done our duty. As educators, we have fulfilled our duty. How much we are doing, we have to be, we have to analyze. Of course, we know that Skill education is essential. Also, some skilled workers might be the how to uh, create social acceptability for these people. All this have been thought of and some methods have been devised. But even that, it is not full in its sense. There should be a radical change, a complete change 
in the education which we impart. I hope that in that context, such summits, such deliberations which would take place in this National Trainers Summit, the expert lectures which would be delivered during this Trainers Summit might help us in which direction we have to pursue in future. I would, I have seen that there is a storytelling uh, in between the lectures. I will also share a small story with you. You might have heard of the story, but uh, in the present context, whether you have heard or not, I don't know. Anyway, with that, I will close my address. Uh, you all know the story of the hare and the tortoise. And we also know that the moral of the story is slow and steady wins the race. There has been another version. The hare again thought of its failure, why it failed. Even though smart in running, very much ahead of tortoise in running, even then, why I failed. That thought came to the mind of the hare. And the hare again called the tortoise for another match. And this time, hare was very much conscious and start, started running very fast from the start point to the finish point. And it won miles ahead of the tortoise. So there again the moral comes that fast and consistent wins more than the slow and the steady. The story does not end there. The tortoise thought, oh, I was very slow in running, so I failed. What should be the next mode of action? So the path for which the running game was selected was chosen by the tortoise. Tortoise carefully selected the path where there was a river in between. Without knowing the true path, the tortoise was called for the next match, sorry, hare was called for the next match. Hare again ran very fast, but stopped when it saw the river. The tortoise slowly came, reached the river, swam across the river, and reached the finishing point. Again, the moral of the story differs here. We should know the core competency and select the playing field then only the success will reach our hands. The story has one more turning point. By this time, after the three matches, the hare and the tortoise became friends. So they said, we will work together. We know the core competencies of each one. We will harmoniously harness the competencies and then work together to meet the challenges. So in the first half of the match, till the river point, the hare carried the tortoise on its shoulder and started running, reached the river. This time, the tortoise took hare on its back and swam across the river and reached the finishing point. So the final story is we should know the core competencies of different persons, respect the core competencies, be willing to work in a team by respecting the core competencies of everyone, then any problem which comes across can be solved. So one more thing is, even if we fail in our attempts, we always have to analyze why we failed. What was the cause of that failure? Don't get dejected or disappointed. There would be alternate strategies which would help us to win. So think of these strategies. And that also another moral of the story. So I hope that this trainer summit would give you many, many alternate strategies where you can shape your future. It would instill confidence in you. It would help to realize what is the real potential in you. So I hope that this would be a success. 
story for the QSAT also because QSAT is the host institution. And I wish all the success for the summit and I formally state that the National Trainers Summit is inaugurated. Thank you.